Happy 4th of July, Patriots fans. I want you guys to go on ahead and just have some fun in the comments section here. Drop your favorite 4th of July activity. This is actually my favorite holiday. There's nothing else you have to do except drink beer and eat a hot dog. But my favorite activity has to be watching fireworks. I absolutely love them. My dog does not. Go ahead, comment your favorite 4th of July activity down below, and let's hop into it. We're talking free agent targets here on today's video on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. I am your host, Allie Barefoot. PFF dropped a handful of names that are still left in NFL free agency, and I thought the Patriots could definitely utilize some at least one of these four players heading into the 2024 NFL season. So let's waste no more time. First things first, Stephon Gilmore. I know I have made videos about bringing Stephon Gilmore back. I know you guys love Stephon Gilmore, and it looks like he loves New England as well. Of course, he formerly played for the Dallas Cowboys in this last season. And the reason why I do think the Patriots could at least give him a call is because that number two cornerback position is still pretty much open. It can either go to Jonathan Jones, it can go to Marcus Jones, one of the Joneses. But Christian Gonzalez is pretty secure. And then I think you're going to have Alex Austin slightly behind Christian Gonzalez there. So who plays opposite of Gonzo is where you could give Stefan Gilmore a call. Because when you look at this depth chart right now, like I said, you got the Joneses who are competing for cornerback number two. But I said this last year as well. Christian Gonzalez, unfortunately, we did not get to see him have the year that we all thought he was going to have. But he has proven to be a pretty legit secondary player. If you get another very good secondary player, you're going to have a dominant, dominant backfield for the Patriots' already dominant defense. And when Stephon Gilmore was asked at Tom Brady's Patriot Retirement Cere uh, Hall of Fame ceremony, excuse me, Stephon Gilmore was asked, you know, hey, man, what about a return to New England? What about a reunion with the Patriots? And he said, I don't rule out any option. It's a place that I played great ball for, so he's always interested. He's just going to answer the phone if they do call. So Stephon Gilmore has no bad juju with the New England Patriots. In fact, he did play some of his best ball being a defensive player of the year in New England. Is he still that player? Meh. We'd have to see. But the only bad part is, is that unless you guys have seen something different, I haven't seen any new reports on the Patriots in Gilmore talking, having meetings, setting anything up, or even a text message about possibly making this return. I've all seen Gilmore say, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to, re to playing for the Dallas Cowboys once more, or maybe even a Super Bowl contender. I'm not sure the Patriots are Super Bowl contenders just yet, maybe in the next couple of years, but Stephon Gilmore may be done by then. So my question here for you guys, I think I know the answer because my answer is yes. Do you want Gilmore back on the New England Patriots? Go on ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Another free agent that the New England Patriots need to address, it doesn't necessarily have to be Donovan Smith. This is probably one of the better offensive tackles that are out there on the free agency market, but I just think they need to call some linemen because I'm getting really nervous for this upcoming season knowing there's a big, fat, question mark at several spots on the offensive line. But let's talk about Donovan Smith. Why is he still on the free agent market? He's 31 years old. He's got two rings, though. He's played for two teams in his NFL career. He's played for the Bucks with Tom Brady, and he's played for the Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes this last year. That's when he got that ring. He's six foot six, 338 pounds. His college was Penn State. And the last NFL team that he did play for was the Kansas City Chiefs. However, PFF does have him towards the bottom half of their, uh, of their rankings when it comes to offensive linemen in the NFL at 61st. So obviously he's going to have some downfall if he is a free agent, still hasn't been picked up by any teams. But I do know that the former head coach, excuse me, the, his former head coach, being Andy Reid of the Kansas City Chiefs, he did give this really good statement about what, what he thinks of Donovan Smith, and he said he was one of the top rated left tackles. Key word here is left tackles, people. We need a left tackle. We've had a chance to play against him a couple of times. I've seen him firsthand good football player. Andy Reid, he, he's a genius. But now when you got somebody like Donovan Smith who has played left tackle for one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, I need a left tackle. This was the offensive line depth chart that they were running before minicamp and OTA. So this has been moved 
quite a few times. City So, he's now at left guard. Cole Strange is month to month. Caden Wallace is now at right tackle. Mike Unwinu is now at right guard. Akorafor is now at left tackle. I mean, it is truly all over the place. Why not go out, get a veteran, get somebody that has two championship rings, stick them on that left side, and protect the blind side? Name a player you want the Patriots to target in NFL free agency. Let me know in the comment section below. There's still a handful of good players out there, and the Patriots we know have a ton of cap space to get that job done. Put a name in the comment section below, and let's keep going. Justin Simmons. This is a hot commodity in NFL free agency. I think Justin Simmons arguably has to be one of the better secondary players, possibly in the NFL, but definitely in NFL free agency. When you look at the safety depth chart right now, Kyle Duggar and Jabril Peppers, who I think is, is perfectly fine to run with this. But I get a little nervous when it comes to the depth chart. You got Schooler, who's more so a specialist. You got Hawkins, who's just kind of finding his footing in the NFL. I do think Jabril Peppers should be up there with Matthew Judon on the next guys to get a contract extension. And I think these two that are in your safety number one position can get the job done. But Justin Simmons, man. 53 tackles, two forced fumbles, eight pass deflections, three interceptions in 15 games that he played last year for the Broncos. This is the only team he has played for in his NFL career. And overall, I think he would be a huge pickup. Do the Patriots necessarily need another safety? No, they don't. You got Peppers. You got Duggar. You really don't need another safety. But if you could possibly get your hands on Justin Simmons, I definitely think it's worth a phone call. You're getting a four-time Pro Bowler. One of the most dominant safeties in the last five seasons. Not to mention, he has the most interceptions out of anybody that has come into the league since 2016 with 30. The man is a headhunter. He sniffs out the ball for a living. And if you want to take, in my opinion, a top 10 defense in the New England Patriots and make them even better by adding one of the better secondary players in Justin Simmons, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? All right, the last free agent target here. We're going to go with Michael Thomas. And this is because the wide receiver room is another area in the Patriots that is a big fat question mark. But there's a lot more potential there, in my opinion. You've got two new rookies. You've got some veterans that have a good mix going on right now with two very good quarterbacks in Jacoby Brissett and Drake May. But you really don't have that bona fide wide receiver one. You have content contestants. You have contenders. You have guys that can absolutely make that jump very quickly at NFL training camp to be your X factor in your wide receiver one. But even if you were to go up and pick Michael Thomas, I'm not sure he would be the wide receiver one of this Patriots team either. I feel like he'd be in the same exact spot as KJ Osborne is right now. You played good for your last team, but we've got some new talent here on the Patriots that have been working really well, like a Jalen Polk, a Javon Baker, a Pop Douglas. They've been working very well with Drake May and Jacoby Brissett, I don't think overall you really need Michael Thomas. It's not like, you know, his stats are punching you in the face. The only one that sticks out to me the most is only 10 games played. He didn't even play the full 17 last year with Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints. Less than 500 yards, only one touchdown, 64 targets, but only half that, 39 receptions. It's just not my favorite free agent pickup that I would go for, but that's just me. I want you guys to go on ahead and like this video for me, but as well, happy 4th of July. Go on ahead and let me know what's your favorite holiday. Mine is 4th of July. Smitty, what's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Well, he likes to get presents. Go on ahead and put your comments in the section below, and as always, hit that sub button for me.